it is Heather and Neil up here at Tactical Response. And today, so Neil was interested in doing some lifts, getting mm -hmm. back into the gym. And Neil is a very smart man and was like, I need uh, some help. A, a, a expert to make sure I don't hurt myself. Yeah, he wasn't just going to go and throw a bunch of weight on the bar in the gym and try to just, you know, push through it. Uh, so we're going to go today and I'm going to video him doing the deadlifts and kind of what that looks like, uh, take him through the steps and make sure that he is good to go and squared away. So we're going to do a deadlift okay. and it's pretty simple because if you can just follow the five steps okay. to set up the deadlift, after that, all you got to do is stand up, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we see the smooth part of the bar right here. Okay. That is where I want your shins to be. Okay. So bring in your stance. So think about your heels should be about four to six inches apart. So I'm gonna bring them in. There you go. And now your toes are already pointed out, which is what we want. Okay. And so this is the stance. We're getting your stance set up. Let me come. So uh, I want you to put the middle of your foot under the bar. So you're going to need to back up just a little bit. All right, we're going to start with that. All right, so now the barbell cannot move throughout okay. the rest of the lift until I tell you to pick it up. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to now bend over, grab the bar outside of your knees. That's okay. Now bend your knees till your shins touch the bar. Good. So we did stance, grip, and now knees. Mm -hmm. Next, I want you to lift, without lifting the bar off the ground, mm -hmm. I want you to lift up your chest so your back's nice and tight, just okay. like that. And now I want you to push the earth away from you while standing up, just like that. And now you're gonna set it down. So now let go, stand up and take a oh, step back. Take a step back. Good. Okay. So we're just gonna do that again. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get our stance. All right, we're gonna get our grip. Shins to the bar, knees open a little bit. Now chest up and drag the bar. Good, and we're gonna sit it down. Let go and take a step back. So the first five, we're gonna let go and step back. Okay. That's gonna give you a ton of repetitions of getting that set up. Right? Got it. So that way it's kind of ingrained a little bit better in your brain. And then the next five that we do, you'll hold on the whole time. You okay. will not let go in between reps, okay? Understood. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get our stance. Grip. Shins and knees, chest up. Now drag. Good. And down. And let go. We're just gonna do that two more times. Okay. Good. Chest up real, real hard. There you go. And down. You let go, step back. This is the last one. Okay. On this one, whenever you go to raise your chest up, make sure that we keep our hips up. You dropped them a little bit in the last one. Okay. And so are, we still want to keep our hips a little high. Hips, hips up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll that in just a tiny bit. There you go. You're good. Yeah. There you go. And drag it up. Good. And down. You can let go. Awesome. So I'm going to put a little bit of weight on the bar. Those feel good? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do five consecutive. Right, okay. so we're not going to let go this time. Okay. But something to remember is this is called a dead lift, which means that it starts from a dead stop. Okay. So after each rep, when you set it down, you're going to still hold on, mm. but you need to take a new breath and re-tighten your back. Got it. Okay. So let's go ahead. We'll get our stance. Get a little closer for me to the bar. Oh, to the bar. Yeah, there you go. Shins, knees, chest up hard, and drag it up. Good. And down. Make sure the barbell's up against you, so roll it in. 
Make sure it's touching, chest up hard. And down. So just roll that barbell in, chest up hard, drag it up. And down. Roll the bar in, chest up hard. Last one, chest up. And down. Good, you can let go. All right, so on the way down, mm -hmm. I know you keep hearing me say, make sure the Bring bar is in. touching you. So that's because on the way down, you're letting it kind of go out. Out, oh, okay. So something that, whenever we go to pick, whenever we go to set the barbell down, it should be the total opposite of how we picked it up. So on the way up, you're bent over, you kind of push with your knees and then you start bringing your hips in, right? Mm -hmm. And we have to push with our knees because we want our knees to get out of the way, right? Because mm -hmm. if they're not, you're gonna hit them. And as it gets heavier, it's gonna, it's gonna fucking hurt, right? Yeah. And so on the way down, we wanna do the total opposite. And so it's kind of gross, I'm so sorry I have to say this to you, but I want you to push your butt out where your butthole is pointing towards the wall behind you. Okay. And so it's called like the athletic stance where like, you're like this, right? Yeah. And so our butthole is pointing at the wall behind us. Our nipples are pointed at the wall in front of us. Okay. And so as we go down, that's what's gonna happen. Once we reach the knees, we start bending them. I see. So they should be relatively straight. Once that we get to them, we'll bend them. Sit. And the bar rides down their legs the whole okay. time. Keep it up. Okay. All right. Cool. So I'm gonna pause, we're gonna put some more weight on it and okay. try it again. All right, so uh, something that can maybe help you with getting your back tight, because mm -hmm. you said that that's kind of what you have a hard time doing is kind of getting set into it. Yeah. Um, all of our barbells in here, and I think it's universal, all of them, will have a little bit of slack in the bar. Okay. And so whenever you go to pull your chest up, you'll actually, like you can do it right now. You can, well, that one doesn't have enough weight on it. If you pull up on it, like there's some slack that comes out of the bar. Okay. And you can use that to kind of use to pull up against to get your chest up. Okay. Because whenever I tell you to push the floor away from you, all that slack should be out of the bar. And mm. so as soon as you start to push your feet, that bar should start to move. Okay. Right? And it'll kind of help give you a little something to pull against as well. Got it. All righty, we're gonna do yeah. set of five. Get a little bit closer for me. There you go. So knees out, chest up hard, and drag it up. Good. So let that drag all the way down. Push your butt back, chest still out. Much better. So now tighten up the chest again by raising it up, drag it up. Good. Same thing all the way down. Keep that proud chest and just point your butt back. Very good. Now just re-tighten up. Good, re-tighten. Good. Tighten up. Good. I lost count, but I think that's five. We're going to say it is. All right, you can let go. So on a couple, it's still going a little bit forward. forward. And so what happens is whenever, whenever people seem to sit it down in front of them, people tend to start to let their hips drop, right? And so now we kind of like squat the bar up, which isn't what we want, because mm. then it takes the, a lot of the back out of the movement when we mm. do that. And so I could tell, especially on the last one, it was forward yeah. again. And the reason why that happens is the bar is forward. Now we're bending our knees to try to meet the barbell. And mm. whenever you bend your knees to meet the barbell, your hips drop, right? And so that's why I tell you, bring the barbell into you. Yeah. And so something that you're gonna wanna remind yourself whenever you go home, if you go to do these, is mm -hmm. you wanna keep your hips higher than what you think they should be. Got it. Because you keep wanting to let them sink, yeah. right? And so we wanna keep the hips higher than we think.
Got it. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. It's still looking like it's moving pretty fast. Okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit more and we'll do another set of five. Okay. So I think one of the things I'm struggling with, I remember Matt saying to hold your breath during the entire lift. Mm -hmm. And I'm like wanting to take a breath halfway through. So uh, there's a couple of things. One is you are having right now to focus on setting it down correctly, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're doing that really slow. As you do deadlifts and you get a lot better at it, you mm -hmm. can slowly increase your speed. Okay. Whenever I'm doing deadlifts in the gym, um, it almost looks like, like I'm dropping it, but I'm not. Like it's in my hands the whole time. But if you were outside on the other side of that door, it would sound like I'm dropping it. it. I'm basically like letting it slam into the floor, right? But I'm really good at that movement now. So without even thinking, I don't hit my kneecaps, right? If you're bad at it, and I, I've done this, so like ask me how I know, <laughs> right? Um, I, whenever I first started deadlifting and I went to do that, I did whack the top of my kneecaps and I had giant fucking bruises on them the next day. And I was like, that hurt, right? And yeah. so you wanna slowly increase the speed. Um, right. Another thing is you're kind of holding the lockout for a minute, okay. which is, again, it's something that a lot of newbies do is like, you wanna feel it, right? You're at the top, you're like, mm. okay, I'm fully locked out. And now you're thinking, it's processing. You're like, okay, now I'm supposed to like push my hips back. Okay, now I'm supposed to do this. Don't hold the lockout, right? Okay. As soon as you are locked out and everything is stacked like it's supposed to be, you can start setting it down. Got it. So big breath, right? And as soon as you have that breath, like you should tighten your back and take that deep breath at the same time. Okay. And then as soon as you have it, start pushing. Got it. As soon as you're locked out, you're going to start to drop it back down. Proud chest the whole time, right butt back, and it's going to ride your legs all the way down. Got it. All right, we're going to do the other side of five. Okay. All right. So think new breath, roll the bar into you. Good. Tighten up. Mm -hmm. Keep the bar up against you. Tighten up your back. Good. We're just going to do one more. Bar into you. Good. And that's it. Good. Okay. So that looked like it was starting to feel heavy, right? Yeah. So I could tell it slowed down. I could see it in your face. So that would be what a heavy set of five feels like. So something I can tell as it's heavy now for you, you're gonna wanna really focus on tightening up your back. Yeah. As you get tired, right? Mm -hmm. You're not wanting to tighten up as much. And especially for somebody that has had a bunch of injuries in the past, that is the biggest thing ever, is yeah. making sure that you are fully tight before you pull up because there is two um i know at least one but i want to say there's two that you tightened and lifted almost at the same time got it there wasn't two separate mo movements right got it. and so the breath and tighten should happen and it can be a split second after but it has to be after separate. the the bar starts to come up got it right and and again that because that's where you're gonna get injury is um moving your back mm -hmm. while the lift is happening got it right we want it to be nice and rigid and mm -hmm. sturdy right and so you just really want to be making sure of that but we'll take a break i'll let you catch your breath and we'll do one more set of five okay all <laughs> right so this will be our last one we're going to do one more heavy set of five i'm going to try not to lose count this time <laughs> all right this one Good, new breath, get tight. Get tight and yep, right there. Last one, get that bar up against you. Tighten up, good. And that's it. So on that last one, you see you kind of went forward, yep. but that's okay. The rest were really good. Good.
Those were awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does that feel good? Felt great. Yeah. So, I mean, we've had what, multiple back injuries. Oh yeah. Lots of chronic pain and oh, yeah. no pain or anything, right? No, no, it felt good. Yeah, no, awesome. Right on. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up doing the deadlifts. Neil, what what you think? How are you feeling? Good, really good. Like I said, no, no pain. I mean, obviously there was exertion and effort, but no, no acute sharp stabbing pains or anything like that nothing feeling like it's sprained or injured you know just yeah. felt like i did some work right uh we know what kind of cues you need to focus on mm -hmm. like what um maybe like what you need to focus more on whenever you go yep. home to make sure that you don't get hurt right yeah. uh so we kind of we went relatively heavy mm -hmm. until we saw where there could have been some form breakdown uh whenever it's really light uh whenever you're doing a lift and it's really light you can kind of do whatever you want with it and the bar will still move um so we try to get it heavy enough that your form doesn't go to you know total shit but we mm -hmm. want to see where it's going to start to break down at yeah uh so we know about what that weight was for him we saw you know what he needed to work on when he goes back home and uh, do you feel confident enough to go home now and get on a barbell i, feel, I definitely feel confident enough to to start doing the exercises um i know there's a starting strength gym in boise and just because of oh, nice. i i think uh again because of the injuries i want to make sure that someone's watching my form before i do yeah. it you mentioned there's kind of like a novice protocol or period that you mm -hmm. recommend yes so it is the starting strength novice program okay right? um it's three times a week in the gym okay. and i love starting strength stuff just because it is simple it is effective but it is hard, right? Just because yeah. it's simple and effective does not mean it's not hard, because it is. But yeah. because it's simple and effective, it is really easy to follow. Yeah. And I mean, hands down, I think that they have the best strength program mm -hmm. in the world for getting you the strongest, the fastest. Yeah, I think after today, I definitely feel like you know, in the past, other people have built up, especially the deadlift in particular is like the big boogeyman of avoid Tell people really mess up their back and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I think all that anxiety is gone. And now, like you said, I'm confident to get out there and actually uh, get under a bar, get some work done. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad that I could help you and give <laughs> you, you that confidence. It feels good. It feels good. So, guys, thanks for watching. And always remember that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.